What's up guys, it is Duck Jitsu bringing you my last MMA fight. Unfortunately, I took an L, but I said I'd do this. I said I'd put this out there. So, I'm gonna man up, I'm gonna drop the video, and uh, I'm sure my next opponents will thank me or whoever's fighting the Mongolian warrior. Some, some good film study here. So, we're off the bat in my karate ninja stance. Working some feints. This man had like really awkward shots. He hit me in the, the ear pretty early on. It threw me off and I was like, oh man, we're pulling guard out here. We're pulling guard, we're doing some hoist Gracie. Some distance management tactics. I thought he would uh, follow me in a little bit more than he did. Uh, I think as the fight progresses, he was told not to, which is smart on his end. So, good movement. The warrior. Time just kick coming in. That, that was a nice one. Um, get him near the cage, and I made a critical error here. I ended up pulling him off, which was you know pretty pretty good on my end, and kind of doing the little Khabib leg wrap. But you guys are gonna see at some point I elevate my hips because I think he's gonna like base out and I can throw a hook in, but he just gives me no space. It was uh, so this is where I kind of get him really down to his shoulder. Not not a great position, but. I just got a little greedy here. I thought I could maybe open up some space and throw the hook. And the, the guy was just like a black belt on the cage work and in the clinch. He just didn't really give uh, any any openings there. And it was a fairly, fairly bad position, but he stayed relatively composed. There's that solid Mongolian wrestling. Actually, uh, after this fight... I took my first Mongolian wrestling class because I was I was so enthused about the the Mongolian fighting style that I was like I need to I need to check this out. So my man, he was nasty, nasty in the close range fighting. His his knees were like yeah, like getting like stabbed in my stomach. They they sucked. So here I invert, I actually do catch an arm bar right in my armpit, and I do get a little hyper extension pop on this. Uh, so that was that was the one time on that like inverted guard here, but this guy's not going to tap. You, you break this guy's arm, he's still not going to tap. You just, uh, you know, different mentality, different mentality. Those, those leg kicks too, super annoying. He threw him right at the knees. So, like the foot makes contact right around your kneecap and your, your base kind of moves out. They, they were pretty annoying, tough to deal with, and they shifted my stance. A little hesitant, you know. He's getting some good shots in. So, focusing on really... Survival, crazy tactics out here. Just going right to my full guard. Look at punch block series. Somebody, somebody signed me up. Combatives course, instructor level 10. I got one knee in there. That was that was my one. I think it was about a, a one to one to three ratio on uh, my knees to be in need. And those teeps, they, they're super deceptive, but he had the nastiest teep I ever felt, ever in my life. Like his, his teeps were ridiculous. That was a nice head kick. Circle into the power side. No bueno, too close. Boom. So we're getting close to the end of the first rounds. Again, definitely, he's freezing me up a little bit, too, because I'm worried about his, his left hook. He hit me at a, an angle I couldn't see, and then from the front, he's just blasting me with teeps, low kicks, and head kicks. So he's kind of overwhelming 
my senses where I'm like, I don't know where that kick's coming from. And I didn't want to circle to my right just because of that, that hook. So we just go Ryan Hall style. We go, we go straight for the straight for the guard pull. Short time, we're all right. And uh, this breakdown is presented to you by AEP, my sponsor, Ancient Leap Performance. All right, we are in round two. Hey, I hit a kick. Put that, put that on my resume. Superman, man, that Superman punch was coming up quite a bit. I did time that one, tried to shoot, and he just slipped out with a limp leg. This man was like grappling a fish on the lower body. I just could not get a bite on his legs. It, it just like would like slip right out and make noise. I, I don't know how, it was just, it was literally just like me trying to handle handle a fish. His his upper body was definitely definitely more grippable, but uh, his legs, just man, they were, they were tough. They were tough to get any friction on. Here we are again, stinky leg, right out of the right out of the single leg. Gets right back on me. Okay. There's that stupid teep, man. That teep, nasty. I pulled guard because of this teep. That teep, oh my goodness. That was terrible teep. I needed a second from, from that one. I, I do remember that one. That one definitely felt like, like a knife right to the gut. Again, he, he times me right off, uh, right off my straight left. He's picking me apart on the timing. I had to get back to my my wrestling just because the more I'm striking, the more he's getting the bite on uh, on the timing. So uh, you gotta you gotta go back to to what you're good at. You know, I knew my avenue for winning this fight was through the submission. I knew that going in. This is this guy's ninth professional fight. It's my second professional fight, so I I knew it was gonna be he's gonna be a tough guy. You know, no surprise. He definitely stayed pretty disciplined during the during the fight, just not not following me to the ground and essentially not engaging there and forcing me to stand back up, which I, I did think he was going to be uh, a little bit more reckless with his strategy. And another thing that surprised me is just how good his defense was because this was, this was next level Mongolian st stanky leg defense. I like the elbows too. Creative. I think I heard guard pull from Luis. I just, I'm like, forget it. We're pulling guard out here. Boom. Back to the kicks. Boom. That, that head kick didn't hit. I just, I just pulled. I, I pulled off of it. I'm actually, I'm trying to. That was a shitty shot. That was, that was poorly timed. I think that was the first like hard sprawl I got hit with too. Most of them have been stinky leg defense. But I was gonna say, I'm trying to control the center of the octagon through butt scooting. That was actually my tactic. It's my strategy going into this fight. I thought I'd get for sure the judge's decision. I, I actually thought I was slightly robbed with uh, you know, my center line control on my ass. I, I, I thought that at least deserved a 10 9. Ooh, air ball. I like. I like the attempt, though, you know. Sometimes you just gotta throw it up. And that is the crowd booing me, people. They don't appreciate the fine art. Of uh, butt scooting. 
that was one thing too. He was he was doing a really good job just off the clinch attempts, off the takedown attempts of making me pay in that clinch with those knees. So it disincentivized a lot of my shots and a lot of my close range fighting just because of how nasty he was with those knees in that close range. All right, here we are, the third round, the final rounds. Stanley's telling me to watch this, the counter hook. Sorry, guys, my, my computer's dying out here. Go back to full lighting. Here I am, center of the octagon, guys. On your butt. This is my fight stance. The man's just not engaging me. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can count off that right there. If he misses that, you can throw. Good. Okay, single leg attempt here, and he gets some cheeky elbows there. That really nice angle. I had to move fairly quickly and just get out of that. On the cage, he's just going to the body work, pushing me around. Definitely one takeaway was I need to lower my stance in that clinch. I'm too, too loose, too movable. Victor roll attempt, and again, slippery, slippery, slippery man. 12 years of grappling. Definitely the slipperiest guy I've ever competed against. Boom. That was an ugly left hand, but uh, hey, we're throwing it out here. Okay. Okay, nice little, nice little blitz. I like it, and uh, we go to the flying guard pull attempts. That is uh, ducks in flight, people. I was actually trying to blow out his knees with my flying guard pull attempts. I was, I was hoping that would, that would end the fight, but uh, unfortunately, his, uh, his, his knees are resilient, and he was able to just catch me. Ooh, I think that was a crotch kick right there. Also, another great fighting uh, tactic. Whenever you're getting pieced up, just give him a good center line, a center line kick, just to to take a second to get a breath. Uh, whether the referee stops it or you keep going, it doesn't matter as long as there there's some slowdown in the attempts of them coming forward. So it's kind of like his oblique kick, actually. I just like to go right down the right down the middle. Right down the goalpost. All right, another, you know, another double leg, and another slip out. Here I am. Oh, center, center, right here, on my butt. I'm telling you guys, it's the new meta, actually. Guard pulling in MMA. The fans have not caught up yet, but this is the future, people. Probably heard me sit. Superman again. Working my distance management here. We're kind of farther range. Oh, the John Jones. That was annoying. That thing is annoying. Gave it a, another another Ryan Hall attempt. We're up, Austin. 130. 130. I was like, if it didn't work the first 10 times, Good. the yep. 11th time, that now that's that's when it's gonna work here. So. Okay. Circle and power side, blitzed in, and then here I am. But Scoot Nation. That's kind of what I meant by the, the clinching exchanges. Like, usually I'm like, there's no way a guy could go to your body while you have a Muay Thai clinch. But uh, he did it, and uh, he's able to get some rapid fire in. I think Ivan Salivar is actually coaching me. He, he took the, the strategy of not coaching his athlete, but to try to try to coach me. I'm pretty sure. 
Again. Oh my goodness. That knee kick was nasty. This man's his kick game very, 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 very dangerous. Short time, short time, short time. Seventeenth M and R roll. I'm like, let's just give it one more M and R attempt to end this fight to to really cap everything off. All right, guys, uh, that was that was the fight. No breakdown here, just uh, some added value from my commentary um mma promotions you guys feel free to to hit me up i know you guys uh lack personality in the sport so uh i'm, I'm open for commentating positions true minds bringing you the new meta of mma but scoot nation all right guys thank you uh for watching give a thumbs up Subscribe, comment, do all that stuff that helps the algorithm. Until next time.